Hi guys, how do you do? Welcome to Transition Programming Wizards. For today, we're going to continue with our VB Dotnet series of tutorials. And specifically today, we're going to see how we can work with images and text. Now for us, this is simple. We're going to see these particular images. These are what we shall be loading right here into a simple list view, okay? This is what I'm talking about. I come click fill. You can see we load uh, those particular images. Then we handle our cell content click right here. For a list view, this is a list view right here. Of course, you are showing images and text. Okay, we're working with an image list. Okay, so guess this is it. This is what we're going to see. Join me. We get started. I require you to go ahead and then create our project. Come to file new, then choose a VB.NET. Create for WinForms application. Once we've done that one, then let's come over right here in your form. Come over to our toolbox, then uh, search right here a list view. Then of course I uh, drag one and bring it to your form over right here. Okay, just bring a form over right. Uh, bring a list over right here. Also make sure that you add two buttons. Then of course double click the buttons generate for us the events that we're going to override. So for us, first come over to your list view. Then also come right here in the events section. Right click it. Then go to the properties. No good. Come right here to the event section. Then double click our list view. Most click right here. We shall be handling an item click for our list view. Then let's move over to our code. Now inside our code, the first form, just double click your form over right here. This is going to generate for you the form load event right here. Okay, this particular procedure. So inside right here, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to set the list view properties. For us, we're going to have our view type we're going to use the details view type then full row select that means that of course uh, if you select an item we're going to set if you have multiple columns we set uh, it to full row select okay to select the whole row then of course we're only going to have one column in this particular case now for us this is our space crouch we're giving it a width of 50. so once we've done that one we're going to come over right here create one method right here that i'm calling populate okay one procedure right here the first thing of course we have to instantiate the image list that's going to hold our uh, images now for us you come right here dim i'm calling it images as image list equal to image list we instantiate it of course we set its size okay now we're going to resize our images to 50 by 50 so we have it right there then of course once we have that one we're coming right and then creating a string array that we're calling files then we call the directory.get files then we pass in the path take note this is the path that we had our images you remember the images that i showed you guys in our machine local disk d folders known as images and small right here so you shall be getting all the files from that particular folder and then of course uh, all their path that is then of course storing them inside this files array then of course we come loop through that one over right here using a for each loop as we loop through it we make sure that we add we call image from file then we pass in the path now these are the paths that we're passing in over right there then of course we make sure that uh we get an image using the from file method then of course we add that particular image to our images collection of our image list we're doing this one inside our try catch block remember so once you've done that one then of course we come we set uh our list we want the small images small image list to our image list right here okay we set its image list property to the image list that we just filled with the images then of course we add items to our list view now take note as we're adding edit times we make sure that we are uh, passing at the indices right here of our actually for our images okay remember we've already set the image list so this is going to be the first item this is the second the third up to the sixth so we have that one once we have that one we're going to come right here now what of if I, uh, a user clicks that is clicks a single item in our image in our list view now for us this is going to be simple what we're going to do is we're going to come for right here and say message we're simply going to show whatever is clicked take note i'm calling select items this right here is an array i simply pass the index now i'm saying that i want uh this first row okay that the user has selected selected it is this is going to give us the first row in that particular list that the user has I selected then we get the first sub item okay the first sub item and then of course its text property is what we're showing 
what about if our fill method is clicked well we're simply going to call our populate method so we come over right here call the populate method to populate it for us now to clear our list view is simple we simply come this one dot items then we call the clear method now we call the clear method this is going to clear it for us okay so that's it if we come over right here run our project is going to uh, give us our stuff over right here so yes we have our form we click fill our thing gets filled right here you click an item we get the item we've uh, clicked okay then of course if we click clear everything gets cleared we call fill everything gets filled that's it guys it's that simple working with an image list and a list view i hope you guys have enjoyed the tour if you have like the video share it subscribe so that you don't miss any of our vb.net tutorial others take care i'll catch you in the next tutorial